Hello and welcome back to our continuing adventures on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are taking on SOC 144, new scheduled task created. Event ID is 91 and this occurred May 14th, 2021, 322 p.m. So it looks like we have the running of a sorted dash algorithm dot pi. So it's a Python script. Let's take a look here. Notepad capture. Yeah, I should probably have that pulled up so everybody can see it. So let's see. There we go. All right, so import URL lib dot request import us print in ASCII giraffe vowels list sort vowels print sorted list and then print the sorted vowels reverse the list random sort and then of course it looks like down at the bottom. Go ahead and reach out to http colon slash slash 92.27.116.104 and basically then dump the file into C Windows temp x86 underscore x80 or 64 underscore setup.exe OS system scheduled tasks create daily market is or name it as daily routine and basically point it to that file in C Windows temp of x86 underscore x64 underscore setup.exe scheduled time 1100 hours hmm first part just seems to sit there and just sort a bunch of stuff and it doesn't until you get down to the bottom uh, let me sure or make sure that that's actually showing up on screen there we go that's what I'm talking about probably should have my second monitor plugged in to make this a little bit easier but so there's our bottom point there so top is perfectly fine it's not till you get down here that things just seem kind of screwball for lack of a better phrase so let me go ahead and take the notepad capture off the screen all right and let's just go ahead and let's dump the Python file into virus total. Although interestingly enough it marks it as Java. Even though it's a .py file. Oh, whatever. It's absolutely nothing. So how about we take a look at the IP or the uh, URL that was mentioned HTTP colon slash slash and then the IP address in VT. And we get a couple of detections. Malware or malicious. So let's see, well, force point. Yeah, I, I give that benefit of the doubt. ESET, Fortinet, WebRoot. Of course, this is 29 days ago, but still. Because right now I'm recording this June 12th. So yeah, it's about the time frame, give or take. Apparently this denotes that it should be something from Emotet two years ago. Yeah, I don't think so, since Emotet was killed in April of 2021. And this is running in May. Uh, but it does have a sh body SHA-256. So we will take that, dump that in to another VT window. And it doesn't detect anything, but then again, it's got a zero size. So this is a, a waste on this one. If we take the file and submit it, no specific threat. Although it looks like for most of these, it did not try to run, although somebody did mark it or run it in Ubuntu. We don't have a sample that effectively ran, although 
I'm not entirely sure Python's installed by default on these. So no specific threat. Uh, doing a search just for that IP address. Go back one. I mean, we get plenty of stuff searching for the IP. Although, interestingly enough, it all seems to cut off in 2018. But most of it's some sort of malware or Emotet back when Emotet was actually still running. Uh, not able to sit there. This is all the way back on May 23rd from a sandbox. Uh, how about Talos? It's a talk talk address. Status expired. So I wonder if that means it was originally on the blacklist at a particular time, but it's fallen off. Uh, let's see. It's not currently on any IP blacklisting services. IBM X Force Exchange. Botnet command and control server for the timeline, but that looks like that's mostly 2018. Nothing current. Uh, Alien Vault. Lots of Emotet. Looks like the last time it found an associated file was April 6, 2020. So this has definitely been used in a bunch of bad stuff before. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's currently running. I mean, we definitely have the scheduled tasks kicking off for this stuff. Although, interestingly enough, as it sits, we actually have the execution of the Python script. But I do not see the... x86 underscore x64 underscore setup. Which I would expect that, that they'd be running, unless it's just a one and done. It does whatever it needs to, and then it kills itself and comes back. I mean, most of everything else just kind of seems in place. Okay, but we do have confirmation of the processes on that box. Network connections. So let's see, this was the 14th at 322. 5, 14, 2021. Yeah, that's 15, it reached out... Uh, 104? But that's not in the script unless it's actually calling back. Let's quickly just take a look at uh, browser history if there's anything in there. Oh, it looks like they... Really? Python Guru 2021X Sorted Algo Archive. I pulled that. SciPy. Let's take a look at, um, where is it? There it is. Let's put that in, not threat intel, but log management. Let's see what shakes out from there. I mean, the script obviously looks malicious, and you really wouldn't need to sit there and print a ASCII giraffe and sort a bunch of vowels and everything else like that. At 11 o'clock, Every single day. 
So there's obviously a problem there. So we do have the communication. 443, is that, that's the sculpt, sculpt. There's the downloading at 321, and then 322, we do actually have it reaching out. So the communication was successful, although we do not see evidence as it exists short of actually being able to... Oh, I really wish I knew how much data flew back and forth. But I mean, we don't see it on the system, but given the previous history itself of that IP, I would hazard a guess to say that, yes, this is malicious. But let's go ahead and get a uh, up-to-date analysis and see if this just removes those detections. Although I'm just glad I'm uh, recording. So we'll see what shakes out of this. Not going to ask for a hint. No, she's still doing its thing. Alright, so I think we have enough. We see that it's been run. We see that it obviously reaches out to something that we would not want to see it reach out to. And there's heavy evidence that at least last year it was used for the badness. Though one of these days I should try the hint just to actually see what that looks like. So this is unexpected services or applications configured to automatically launch on system boot. Is it, was it quarantined? Well, no, because it was allowed to run, device action allowed, and we actually seen it in the endpoint security. So quarantine or cleaned? No. Analyze it. Well, the file itself doesn't seem to be, but it does look like it tries to go out and download and then runs this stuff. So I'm going to say that it is malicious, even though we don't seem to have an actual copy of that uh, x86 underscore x64 underscore setup.exe. But just given the fact of what it's trying to do, it just smells bad. So we're going to say it's malicious. So let's see, we're going to have a URL, we're going to have an IP, and we will have, well, unfortunately, just the MD5 of the Python file itself. Because unfortunately, we don't get anything else, or at least not enough to run with. Go back to my notes page and grab the name of the file as presented, IP address. Well, that's in just about everything here that I've been looking at. Go back to case. Go back here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it still sticks six out of 88 detections. So, oops. No, no bookmarks. Bottom of file, we have the IP address. Just mark URL. And of course, we do not have the actual samples that ran the sorted algorithm. I don't 
have anything by then. And of course, when all these were run, May 17th. This is the 14th that this stuff kicked off, that we actually observed that. Yeah, it doesn't have Python, so we're not really going to get a whole lot from any dot run. And this was, what, just the search utilizing the IP address that cuts off in 2018. Okay, so yeah, that doesn't help us much. Of course, what I find interesting is that just, just the sheer fact that nothing picks up on the string on there. But then again, currently, I don't think there would be anything to actually pull down. Web root, malware site, Sophos, malware repository, spyware, mad. Yeah, so there's enough that. Uh, it's enough bad stuff. Uh, and because we don't actually see it running, we can't snip it from the process list to get an actual hash. Right? Anything that would make or anything that would make any sort of reference to daily routine, not that I see. So, well, bugger all. But I mean, we do see that the stuff it kicked off. So, firing of or utilizing of Python to run the sorted algorithm, and then we see the actual scheduled tasks to go through and create the daily routine. We just don't see this. But realistically, depending on the EDR solution, we'd probably S or isolate the workstation in question. We'd, uh, if we had like carbon black response, we'd isolate, we'd go live on the system, we'd browse to that directory and see about pulling the file or trying to generate the hash from it. And then basically just go through and do the same thing we just kind of already done with just the Python file. Stick it in VT, stick it in the sandbox, see what shakes out. Did someone request it? Well, I mean, it was allowed, so yeah. Go ahead and put request the quarantining. There we go. Done. Finish the playbook. Let's make sure the IOCs. Yep, IOCs have been popped in. Ray. And then we're just going to finish. So this is a true positive um, system needs to have the x86 underscore x64 underscore setup exe pulled in it analyzed from C Windows temp for being nuked and paved. Uh, let's see as to whether or not if they disagree with me on that. So let's see if we find there we go. There's May 14th. Huh, apparently I didn't get anything wrong with that. Hooray! Full points. Always a good decision. <laughs> but with that, that completes SOC 144, event ID 91. New scheduled task created for May 14th, 2021, 3.22pm. And with that, I will see everyone in the next video.